I'm Steve Newman and today we will be talking about OmniFocus for iOS. This is my favorite task planning application um, that I use on a daily basis for my work. It isn't a free application, but I think it's well worth the money. So first of all, the application itself has a nice um, uh, clean interface. It's very much like a web page layout where you have a menu and dashboard along the left hand side and then the items you're working on are within the center. Um, and uh, so on the left hand side, if you pull down, you get to the settings, if we move that back up. But otherwise, at the very, very, at the very top, you have your forecast of your tasks that you have in the system. Really easy to see. So you can see that uh, I have one past due um, task. I have two for today that I must complete and three for Sunday tomorrow. And the color uh, gives you that indication of how important these are. And of course, if you click on any of those or tap any of those, you actually are taken through to the task itself and you can work on the tasks. Uh, moving down on the left hand side you have the inbox and the inbox is the most important part of it for me. This is where you, uh, un you can see unassigned tasks. If a task has been assigned to a project it won't appear here uh, but this is the place you go to uh, to assign a task to a project. So if we now pick one here for example I can now go and assign a task to a project. So we can go to timely actions and if I go done and that's now moved from there. Uh, and if I just go into a task there, just to show you the kind of things you can do in a task, if we go uh, to the info of the task, which is where we are now, you can change the project. Uh, you can change the context, which again, people, places, that kind of thing. Uh, and you can also flag the task if you want it to show up as something really important other than a past due, uh, sorry, other than a, a date which is important to happen, but something to highlight to you. You can also give it a duration. So uh, you can set the task for, I'm gonna set this for 20 minutes, and then you can say when, when you wanna defer it. So for example, you may not want to really start tracking this task till tomorrow. So I'm gonna set it for Monday actually. So let's just do this, and we're gonna start tracking it from 12 noon on Monday. And again, you've got some nice um, quick changes where if you want to move a day forward, which are uh, rather than using the scroll wheel, you can just click like these, these little buttons at the bottom, jump it a month, that kind of thing. Um, so that's pretty good. You, you can also um, say when it's actually due. So it, it, it takes in context where, where when I set the last setting and now it enables me to say, is it due at the same time? Uh, is it due in the same day? Uh, so we say yes. And then you can obviously set whether or not you want to repeat it and so forth. So it's uh, really good for setting up tasks. Uh, so as you can see, um, uh, because I set this task to happen in the future and I haven't assigned it to a project, this task is great because I don't really need to focus on it at the moment. That's why they call it OmniFocus. But it does clearly tell me in down here on the left, down here, it does clearly tell me what uh, I what my settings are from when I need to be reminded. So that's pretty nice. And you can see you can do more things. So you can, very similar to mail, you can set mail, you can say it's due today, you can change things quite quickly, you can flag it or you can delete it. So it is quite a easy thing to do, use this product. Now, if you want to complete a task, you've done it early or, or uh, you're finished with the task for any reason whatsoever, you can just click on the circle and the task goes. And the circle changes color. Uh, to give you an idea whether it's important, whether you've flagged it, whether or not um, it's, it's overdue, past due, that kind of thing. And if you want to see your completed tasks, you can go into the top, there's a little eye symbol, and uh, you can say what you want to see. Uh, you can change your view, I'm gonna say all, so now I can see my completed task and I can untick it so I haven't completed it, for example. Um, so the way I would use this in a meeting is I, I would, it doesn't matter where you are in the application, basically. So for example, I'm here, uh, I'm, I've moved out into context, but, but say I'm in a meeting and I want to record a number of tasks, I can quickly do so by pressing the top right hand corner and then uh, that's the inbox icon. And now I can start freely creating a task. So we go task uh, four, I could, I could literally, just do as much of that as I wanted. I could add the notes into the task. So we go uh, test um, and I could press save plus 
And what that does is that saves that into the inbox, but then allows me to start immediately start typing another task. So in this case, um, task five, and again, we can do task six and so on. And then when you're finished, uh, seven, uh, we can just go save and that will no longer read the task. If I now go back to home and then into the inbox, you can see that I now have all those tasks that we created before. And you can clearly see that because I didn't add any notes to tasks five, six and seven, there's no indicator underneath the, underneath the name of the tasks, which you can see there is underneath task four, which indicates that there are notes and I had notes in there. So it's really easy that what you would do next is to go into the inbox at your leisure when you have time, and then you can go in and uh, slowly uh, change your tasks and allocate them to different projects. Again, this is all customizable, so we change that to an important project. Oh, I think we're gonna sign that to my boss. So let's do that. And I'm happy with that. I could set due dates if I want. So I didn't, so that's now moved. So we're gonna do that one as well. So let's change that to uh, timely actions. Let's set the context to be, uh, ooh, oh, I tell you what, we're gonna email something. So we're gonna, we have to remember, we need to do an email, that kind of thing. And we're gonna save that. Again, you can change all the context and uh, to make it easier for you to understand and manage your tasks. So that's how tasks are added into the system. Now, if I now move and look at the dashboard on the left hand side, um, projects, you get a nice project view and these are all collapsible by the little triangles. Uh, and you get a nice project view on the left hand side, you can see all your projects listed and little dots underneath each project which indicate the number of tasks and the color of the dots in indicate um, how uh, when the task is due. If it's a red dot, it's past due uh, uh, an amber dot, uh, which means it's, it's coming up. So you can easily see uh, whether you need to start working on tasks and whether or not those tasks are ones you need to start now. If they're gray, they're not due, due net yet, or they do not have a due date, so you can work on them when you want. So it's nice and easy to uh, uh, look at your, have a simple view of all your projects. As you can see here, I have them all here. I can see at a project level, all the tasks that I have. Um, now, with myself in my own database, I have loads of projects. So it's actually an enormous uh, list and loads of tasks. Uh, so um, I use some filtering and so forth, which I'll show you in a moment. So context, I mentioned before, uh, you have, um, not only can you create context in this screen, uh, new context, you can you also um, can see the status of any task that's assigned to a context. So it's another way of looking. So for example, we created an email task earlier and you can see that there is one dot next to email. And if I click on that, I now have details of the task that I had. So it didn't matter what project it was in, but this is another way of showing you that I have an email action and therefore, regardless what project it was in, even though it was in timely actions, I now have uh, ability to jump quickly into that task and manage it. Um, so very easy to see and you can see I have so many no, no context tasks. So that's context. Again, you can add your context quite easily. Flagged, flagged are, as it says, anything easy to see what's, what's flagged nearby add the add a context which is location based so you could say when i am near something then this task remind me about this task and this will show you uh, and enable you to set the context for for that Review is one of my favorite features of this application. Uh, the whole idea about review is it's a periodical um, uh, reminder to ensure that you jump into each project and validate that each task is still relevant. You may have completed something uh, and forgotten to complete the task and, uh, and or the timing may be incorrect. And this enables you to go into those projects and review and then confirm that uh, that project is correct. So for example, uh, I can go in for here, it shows me all the tasks on this and I can go in and go, mm, yeah, 
I'm happy with that. And they all show it in red, so you know you're in this review screen. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, cool. And you go through, look at all your tasks, review your tasks, and when you're finished, you click it as a mark reviewed. So now the first project is no longer read because it's been reviewed and then it's now moved on to the next project so that I can go through and have a look and review all my tasks again. Very, very much the same. Okay, let's assume we've gone through and we mark them as reviewed and again we can do the same with the last one and we're going to mark that as reviewed as, as well. And if we go back to the home screen you can see that there's zero to review and this will remind me again next week if I need to review the project. So very, very powerful. And the last bit to mention on the dashboards uh, is the um, other perspectives, as you can see at the bottom. Now, um, perspectives in, in context in the real world are almost like a, uh, a, a, com a custom report. That's the best way to think about it. So if you want to have an easy to see custom report on, the, on this in, uh, in a, the dashboard, where, for example, say you want, you want to track all items that are assigned to an individual, uh, that kind of thing, uh, then you can build a custom perspective and it will always show up on the left. So if you have a team of people that work for you and you wanted to track their items, you can get the progress and see what's happening with those items on the left-hand side. So it's, it's a bit like a, a custom report, a dashboard entry. Uh, it's very, very flexible. It's not just about people. Uh, and the last part of this is uh, just to say that um, the OmniFocus product itself uh, will synchronize with uh, a WebDAV server or OmniGroup provide their own um, uh, syncing server so that if you install the application on your iPhone and your iPad and incidentally it comes with a very good Apple Watch um, um, application that's built in, obviously only works if you're on the iPhone version, um, then any change on one version of, uh, sorry, one application, so if you're in the iPad uh, version you may add a task, change a task, complete a task, will sync automatically. Uh, via the OmniFocus group uh, uh, servers and then your applications are synced across all of the devices. Um, again, that, that is included in the service. You don't pay extra for that. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions uh, about uh, OmniFocus, please leave a comment afterwards. And otherwise, please can you uh, subscribe to my YouTube videos. I, I, I buy these myself. I, I don't, no one gives me these to review. And uh, it really helps me if uh, you could subscribe and tell other people. Once again, thank you very much.